Hi guys, thank you for joining me for today's shave and scent of the day. Um, today brush is my Sterling 26 millimeter finest badger. And you guys haven't seen this one since it's been honed. Um, when I got it before it had whatever honing when I bought it, which was really not good. Um, this is my double dock satin edge. I don't know if you can, there I think that's a little easier to see. Um, and I just got that back from Frank at Strike Gold Shave, the Honemeister. And today I will be shaving with double D's. No. Dapper Docks. Double D's, Dapper Docks. Well, and also in this case, double D, double duck. So that's my shave today and my stink of the day and my, well, stink of the day for those in the Facebook group. If not, my scent of the day is also double D's. No, it does not smell like sweat at all. It smells like lilac and fig and is wonderful smelling and it's very strong so it definitely can go as your scent of the day. Um, they're known as aftershave colognes. Um, and that is what you get out of it. Um, you get some nice performance out of it. Really, really good. And it's been really cold here today, so I'm going to finish with PAA Mysterium Serum. Um, it's a little, it's maybe a little too moisturizing for me during the summertime, um, but it's been. I think we only hit like 52 degrees Fahrenheit today, um, and I don't know if you can see my face is really dry in these areas around my nose and and here. Um, so that's what I'm going to use today. So let's get this party started. Um, I don't soak this soap. Um, it's nice and soft and I have no troubles um, getting a paste on my brush. So, wow. And there's already a ton coming out. So I'm going to get this going. I probably should have gotten a little more water out of this brush, but oh well. It'll just make getting the water into the lather easier. All right, hope everyone's doing well out there today. I was able to work from home today and stay with my boy Reed, so challenging, but good day. All right, let's get the paste on the face. Got like three or four days um, growth, so I'm in good need of this. Good need of this. Bad need of this. I don't know. I need this. Mmm. Beautiful mid-strong scent off the puck and lathering. But almost go strong. I mean, it's a very nice smelling soap with um, a nice bit of scent proje projection. Had a lot of water in the brush, so I don't really have to add much here. optimal slickness out of this which doesn't take much really nice slick soap this is the CK6 the newest soap base and it is fantastic if you think you don't like vegan soaps um, try it out it may change your mind See, very nice. I think I'm gonna put a little more water in it.
and I already got it in my mouth. It does kind of taste sweet like fig. So we'll give that a, a neutral five on the tasteometer. And let's get going. Get a little alum on my fingers. Get a little extra grip. To make up for all this soap that I've got down my arm. <laughs> and see how good a job Frank did. That's not really the question is. The question is how good a job can I do? Because uh, I know Frank did a good job. The question is whether I can do a good job or not. And I'm going to say I hope. And this already feels a metric ton better. Regular ton for those that don't like metric, whatever. I work in healthcare, so I use metric all the time. so much smoother now there we go oh my nose itches Wow, this razor is so much better. It's like a totally different shaver. I was kind of afraid the blade might be, might not be as nice as it looks, but I would say that it is. With some good treatment. Yeah, it just glides. The only other time I used it, it pulled so bad. As, as I was shaving, I was kind of doing my eyes like this because it hurt. It didn't hurt. It wasn't real comfortable, though. It's good, just stab myself with the edge. Oh. Sometimes it's kind of tough to give you the, the proper viewing angle and me actually be able to see it as well. You know, some, I'm sorry, but sometimes I went out. If I can't see myself at all, it um, may not be too good an ending. Oh, so much better. Very happy with that. Frank, you done good. Again. No 
tugging, pulling at all. It just sings. There, beautiful first pass. Boy, it's a lot of hair. Very nice first pass. Couple little spots left over, but uh, a little bit there too. But I mean, I pretty much got it all in one pass. Look at that beautiful stuff. Really beautiful scent too. Being that it's kind of cold in here right now, this is one time where I wouldn't mind having a warm scuttle. Because now I had my face all warm to start with. And now, it's not so warm because it's got cold cream on it. It just sings. Beautiful. I have to be real careful right here. I keep cutting myself there. Because of that little, little shelf right there. There, I'm just trying to go at a little different angle instead of going straight down and trying to do this to kind of get some of this weird area right here. So just trying to change the angle just a touch. Just kind of go at it a little differently. And I'd say it works.
I'm still slowly getting better with my right hand as well. I am um, pretty much left-handed. I'm, I'm definitely left-hand dominant. Um, I can do some things with my right hand, but like I said, I'm left-hand dominant. So I'm still getting, you know, slowly getting better here. So you see I'm trying to kind of pull with my elbow, if that makes sense, instead of doing a bunch of moving here. I'm trying to use my big muscles instead of my little muscles. Yes, I have some big muscles. I'm talking with one right now. I think my cat wants to see some of the videos trying to push the door open. Got myself a touch right there. No biggie. Once again, kind of changing that angle. All right. Let's see how I did. I got everything there. I'm going to go against the grain just a little bit. Or from south to north, as it is with my face. Not necessarily against the grain. Take it on down here, make sure I get plenty of plenty of protection. Beautiful. Mmm. And tasty again. All right. Nice glide. Of course, I was just going to do that on my neck, but I can't stop myself.
right. And with that, I'm going to call it a day. Provided I didn't miss anything. I'll have to check this out. I need to start shaving more often and kind of toughen my skin up a little bit more. Not that it's hurting or anything, but I can just feel, you know, a few spots in here that I typically don't get much uh, feedback with if I've been shaving enough. Um, but clearly I haven't done that, but it looks great. Didn't miss anything there. Neck feels really good. Awesome. I'm gonna hit it with a little alum. Really nice close shave. Can I get it closer with a D? Yeah. Is this a really good shave? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, while that's working, I'll show you what I've got to work with here. Really nice. A lot of cushion in there. Really slick. Nice pillowy lather. That's really good stuff. You should definitely check these guys out I believe their dog's name is Huxley if I remember correctly um, and I think he's part of the part of the soap maker operation as well Douglas Fran and Huxley Give it a little fling. Go there. And then about 45 degrees. About another 45 degrees. And then just hang it upside down. And let me get this alum off. Nothing like a day with double D's. Mm. <laughs> Woo, it's so strong. Nice, sweet, fig, floral, bright lilac. Man. Boy, that is awesome. And it is strong for about the first 15 minutes. My wife's going to go, wow. But after that, when it settles down, it's beautiful. It is really strong right off of the, right off of the splash, though. Nice little bit of alcohol burning in there. Um, dry that off a little. And we'll get some Mysterium Serum in. Especially with that little kind of sensitive skin right now from not shaving very much. Want to really get that protected. Awesome. Whew. Well, that's my shave and my scent of the day. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate all the support, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good week.